Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlamon.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos Analytics tutorial video and in this video we will learn how to use operators in IBM Cognos Analytics. In our previous videos we learned how to upload data files, how to use those data files to create data modules and finally we learned how to create a report using data modules. We also learned about joins how to create joins to combine data between multiple tables. In this video, we will learn about operators and how to create calculated fields or calculated columns. Now you may ask why we need a calculated column or what is the purpose for operators. Let me explain this with an example. I have an order table. In my order table, we have product, product quantity and product price. I want to calculate it line total. To calculate it line total, we need to use product quantity and product price. The expression for calculating line total is product quantity multi multiply by product price. To perform this calculation, we need to use calculated field. Inside calculated field, we are going to add an expression with product quantity, multiply our operator for this expression and product price is our second column. Here we are using multiply operator to perform a multiplication between product quantity and product price. So operator is used to perform a calculation and calculated column or calculated field is used to store your expression for the calculation. So let's see, see different types of operators in IBM Cognos Analytics and how to use it in your real-time scenarios. In IBM Cognos Analytics, operators are divided into two major categories. The first one is mathematical operator and second one is the logical operator. So let's first check the mathematical operator. So this is mathematical operator. In this, we have following operator. The first one is the parenthesis. Okay, open and close. Then we have a plus sign, plus operator, minus operator or minus sign, multiplication operator or multiple sign, division or division operator, and then finally we have two pipe for string concatenation. Now let's see how to use these operators. For this, I'm going to open IBM Cognos Analytics. And this is my IBM Cognos Analytics homepage. I want to upload a, an Excel file, which we are going to use in this video. For personal, group or online training, contact us. This file is also available on my blog post. If you want to download, feel free to download. I'm going to select this Excel file and then I'm going to drag and drop it just here. Okay, so this is, so I'm fine with this. Let me click on OK. Our file is uploaded successfully. Next step, we need to click on new and then we are going to create a new data module. For this data module, we are going to select our mobile.xlsx file. Let me quickly search it. And then finally, I'm to add this file. I'm done with the file selection. Let me click on done. And then I'm going to select this mobile.xlsx and then finally I'm going to drag and drop it just here. Next step, we need to create a calculated field. Now we have two options. Either we can create a calculated field at data module level or we can create the calculation field at table level. So right now I want to create a calculated field at table level. Okay, so I'm going to select table and then I want to create a calculated field. For this, I'm going to click on this ellipse button and then we are going to select create calculation. This is calculation editor. On the left, you can find all the available tables and column. If you want to search any specific column, you can search using search box. So let's say I want to search MRP and this is MRP. Okay, so let me close this or let me cancel the search. Next is the calculated field name calculation name under the calculation name we have expression here we are going to provide the logic to perform a calculation for this calculated field in the bottom we have a validate url if we are going to click on validate our this entire expression is going to validate it and if everything is fine we are going to get a success message and right now we are getting error currently in our expression we don't have anything so that's why we are getting an error so ignore this error for the time being. Next, we have OK and cancel button. OK to save the changes and cancel to ignore the changes and close the dialog box. Finally, you can use this clause for the same purpose. Now I want to create my first calculation. For this, I am going to first provide a name. In the expression, I am going to type 1 plus 1. Here, 1 is our first value. Then we are using a plus operator. And finally, the second value is again 1. If I am going to click on OK, our first calculate field is created successfully and our 
table is lifted successfully. So where um, where is our first calculated field? It is available just here. My first calculation. I don't want to scroll this. So let me quickly arrange my columns. I'm going to select my first calculation and then I'm going to move and I'm going to drag and drop it just here. Okay, so I'm fine with this. Let's see other operators or let's see how to edit this. For this, again, I'm going to click on this ellipse button in front of this calculated column and then I'm going to select edit calculation. Edit calculation. So right now we are using a plus operator. Let's modify this expression. I'm going to change the value. It's 1 plus 10. Click on OK. And now the value for must for my first calculated field is 11. Let's change it. And this time I'm going to select edit calculation and I'm going to change the operator minus operator. So plus operator is used for performing a addition between two values. Minus operator is used to perform a subtraction between two values. So one minus 10, the answer is minus 10. Similarly, you can click on edit calculation and then you can select multiplication operator. So two into five, 10. And finally, again, I'm going to click on edit edit calculation and then this time I want to perform a division so I'm going to select 5 by 2 and then click on OK. So this is 2.5 and then we are going to use our last operator for concatenation. So I'm going to click on this edit calculation and then I'm going to change the expression. I want to perform a concatenation between two strings. So the first string is hello then I'm going to use double pipe characters and then finally I'm going to use my second string it's space vlamon finally click on ok hello vlamon you can also use plus for concatenation so let me click on edit and then I'm going to replace these two pipe characters with a plus sign finally I'm going to click on ok now I'm skipping the validate but for you you must need to click on validate. So I'm going to click on this edit calculation and click on validate. Our expression is valid. If something is wrong, you are able to see here. Now let's see the practical implementation for operators, mathematical operators. Now let me click on close. I want to delete this. I want to delete this calculation for this I'm going to click on this and then finally I'm going to click on remove my calculation is gone next what we need to perform okay so in this table we have selling price and then we have cash on delivery charges delivery charges and finally tax okay so I want to find the final selling price for this product so how to find the final selling price for this, we are going to perform a addition between selling price, cash on delivery charges and delivery charges. For the time being, ignore tax. Okay, so I want to create a calculated uh, column, but before creating the calculated column, let me hide few things. Okay, so I'm going to uh, remove all these columns. So I'm going to select this ellipse button and then finally I'm going to select remove. I'm fine with this set of columns. The first thing, the first calculation I want to create is I want to create a final price. To create our calculated field, I'm going to click on this and then finally I'm going to click on create calculation. And I'm going to name it final price or final selling price. In this, I'm going to add selling price, select drag and drop. Then I'm going to use plus sign because I want to add cash on delivery charges. Finally, again, I'm going to click on plus, second plus sign. And finally, we are going to drag and drop delivery charges. Our first calculated field is created successfully using our existing columns. Validate your expression. Everything is fine. Finally, click on OK. And let me quickly arrange final price. So this is your selling price. This is MRP. This is selling price and this is final selling price. So this is about selling price. This is how you can use a plus operator in real time scenarios. Now let me quickly 
show how to use concatenation for this again i am to click on this and then create calculation okay now what i want to create here i want to write now our product name and product brand are in two separate columns i want to combine this for this i am to select brand and then i am to use plus sign for creating a concatenation now i'm going to add a hard coded string and then again i'm to add a plus sign finally i'm to add title validate your expression if everything is fine click on okay so this is oh we did not provide any name for this let me quickly arrange it and let me so this is your brand and then your product title let me scroll down apple apple iphone 5c pink 8 gb so apple this first one first apple is for brand and then this is our product name okay so let me quickly fix few things i want to rename this okay and uh, we can use plus and pipe characters for creating a concatenation so this time i'm going to use brand plus this hard coded string and then two pipe characters validate this expression this is also working fine let me click on okay so our second column is created successfully now let's see the example for multiplication i want to find the price for available stock okay total available stock for each product for this i'm going to create another calculate column create calculation and then I'm going to say stock price and in this we are going to use let's say selling price multiply with quantity let me validate this and the expression is valid let me click on ok and this is the example with uh, multiplication so for this 1 plus 1 equals to 2 d4 pick of 3 mobile for this we have around 1 lakh 55,000 no it's 15 lakh 58,980 rupees store available on available in our store okay so this is for uh, multiplication now I want to find a I want to find the discount amount for each product for this I'm going to click on this create calculation and for this expression for this column for this expression we are going to use minus so I want to use MRP minus selling price I hope I spell it correctly everything is fine and finally I am to click on OK so this is our discount for each product so for 1 plus 1 equals to 2 the discount is around 13,440 and for Apple iPhone 5c the discount is around 0 so this is for minus and for division I am going to calculate a discount percentage create calculation and I need to select discount percentage and let me use a sign discount percent in this I need to use MRP MRP minus selling price I want to calculate this first then I want to divide it with MRP then I want to multiply it with 100 okay let's validate this expression this expression is valid discount percentage and I'm going to arrange it just here discount percentage so this is discount and this is discount percentage its discount is around 28 percent or you can say 27.95 right now we are not going to use any rounding function we are going to learn more about functions in our upcoming videos so this is the way you can use mathematical operators in ibm cognos analytics this is about mathematical operators 
in our next video we are going to learn about how to use logical operators okay for logical operators we need to use if block because without if block we are not able to demonstrate all this so that's why we are going to first learn about if block and then we are going to learn about logical operators so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video don't forget to click on like subscribe share it with everyone provide your feedback and see you all in next i game commerce analytics tutorial video some important viewers